Now, find a comfortable spot, lying down, seated, supported with your bed, with your couch or your recliner, finding yourself softly, gently breathe in and out. That's right. Breathe in from the nose all the way to your lower abdomen. Breathe out, let it all out. Release all unneeded emotions, unwanted sensations. And that's right, as you listen to me. As you listen to the words that I say, as I talk, my voice will go with you. That's right. I know you may love flowers, you may grow plants, you may do a different job. That's right. Just like I love what I'm doing. I like growing flowers and the plants too. I still do. And that's right. So you are having a nice, comfortable seat in that easy chair or couch as you listen to me. I am going to say a lot of things to you, but it won't be about flowers. Or your car, or your children, because you know more than I do about those things. That isn't what you want. Now, as I talk, and I can do so comfortably, I wish that you will listen to me comfortably, as I talk about a tomato plant. That is an odd thing to talk about. It makes one curious. Why talk about a tomato plant? One puts a tomato seed in the ground. One can feel hope that it will grow into a tomato plant that will bring satisfaction by the fruits it has. The seed soaks up water. Not very much difficulty in doing that, because of the rains that bring peace and comfort, and the joy of growing to flowers and tomatoes. That little seed, my friend, slowly swells. Sends out a little rootlet with cilia on it. Now you may not know what cilia are, but cilia are things that work to help the tomato seed grow, to push up above the ground as a sprouting plant. And you can listen to me, so I will keep on talking. And you can keep on listening, wondering, just wondering what you can really learn. But speaking of the tomato plant, it grows so slowly. You can't see it grow. You can't hear it grow. But the grow it does so slowly. You can't see it grow. You can't hear it grow, but grow it does. The first little leaf-like things on the stalk, the fine little hairs on the stem. Those hairs are on the leaves too, like cilia on the roots. They must make the tomato plant feel. Very good, very comfortable, 
very rested. If you can think of a plant as feeling, and then you can't see it growing, you can't feel it growing, but another leaf appears on that little tomato stalk, and then another. Maybe, and this is talking like a child. Maybe the tomato plant does feel comfortably and peacefully as it grows. Each day it grows, grows, and grows. It's so comfortable to watch a plant grow and not see its growth. Not feel it, but just know that all is getting better for that little tomato plant that is adding yet another leaf and another still and a branch, and it is growing comfortably in all directions. And soon the tomato plant will have a bud from somewhere, on one branch or another, but it makes no difference because all the branches, the whole tomato plant, will soon have those nice little buds. I wonder. If the tomato plant can really feel a kind of comfort, you know, the plant is a wonderful thing, and it is so nice, so pleasing just to be able to think about a plant as if it were a man or a woman. Would a such a plant have nice feelings? A sense of comfort, or freedom and joy, as the tiny little tomatoes begin to form, so tiny, yet so full of promise to give you the desire to eat a luscious tomato, sun ripened. It's so nice to have food in one's stomach. That wonderful feeling, a child, a thirsty child, has, and can want a drink. Is that the way the tomato plant feels when the rain falls and washes everything so that it all feels well? You know. A tomato plant just flourishes each day, just a day at a time. I like to think the tomato plant can know the fullness of comfort each day, the fullness of peace each moment, and the fullness of joy. Each hour, you know, just one day at a time for the tomato plant. That's the way for all tomato plants. Oh yes, yes, indeed, my friend. I grew up on a farm. I think a tomato seed is a wonderful thing. It's indeed a wonderful thing. Think, think in that little seed there does sleep so restfully, so comfortably, and so peacefully. A beautiful plant yet to be grown that will bear. Such interesting leaves and branches. The leaves, the branches look so beautiful. That a beautiful, rich color, that a divine smell. 
all the way, penetrating your entire being into every single cell, every single atom, every single organ. You can really feel it in and out, very happily looking at a tomato seed, thinking about the wonderful plant it contains, asleep, resting comfortable, and that's right. Thinking about the wonderful plant it contains, wonderful sleep, deeply resting, so pleasantly comfortable, resting here, joyfully, feeling free, and that's right. And soon, or sometime in the future. It might be a few hours from now, or perhaps a few days. And you look back at the tomato plant. You'll be so surprised at the moment, the amount of time that you have been in a comfortable state. Maybe initially that will be only for a few minutes. Maybe it will actually be a few hours. You might also find that times during which you are in discomfort simply seem to shrink rapidly. As you focus more and more on the tomato seed and the plant, what once seemed to be a narrow Will seem like ten minutes or even ten seconds, as you listen to the sound of my voice. We have all had the experience of being so wrapped up in a wonderful activity as you think about this tomato plant. That a time seems to fly by. That is how it will seem when you see a tomato, even sensing, feeling, noticing the tomato seeds as the tomato plant continue to grow, joyfully, comfortably, and sensing all the satisfaction within that tomato plant. So you know that the only periods in which you are comfortable, well, then just slows everything down, and ultimately, you will look back and be amazed that you have difficulty remembering the last time you actually experienced pain or any physical discomfort, and that's right. Now that that comfortable tomato plant continues to grow quietly, silently, in deep, deep, resting asleep mode. So deeply resting, sleeping, and comforting now, all the way. Drifting in deep, deep, deep satisfaction, wandering, listening, drifting, and floating, floating, drifting, wandering, deeply asleep, deeply asleep. Deep, please sleep.